Are you ready to dance? Hi, I'm Delanis and welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be here. I feel like I have not been here in so long with you guys, but I am here with you guys now and I am so excited to share with you guys five things you need to know before you step into a dance class. But before we get started, I just want to feature this look here that I have going on today. I want you to go to my Instagram and follow me at Delandis because I am having so much fun with makeup and, and just exploring and all of that cool stuff. I want you to see these looks. So yes, go over to at Delandis on Instagram and check out some little video looks and some photos and all of that cool stuff. All right. Okay. So let's get started. Number one, know the class that you are taking. And not only that, know the level that you are taking because if you are a beginner dancer, you do not want to step into an advanced class, okay? There is nothing more frustrating for a teacher than to have someone that's a beginning student jump into an advanced class. So yes, know the class that you are taking, know the style that you are taking. Number two, now, this is really important to me. It may not be important to some people, but I feel you should know a little something about the teacher. With social media these days, it is so easy to go on social media and look up someone. So listen, know a little bit about the teacher. You may want to have a conversation with the teacher after class, and it is so refreshing and it is so wonderful to know that as a teacher that someone has been following you and studying what you do in anticipation to come take your class. So yes, know a little about the teacher, know a little about their style and how they like to teach because you may find out through their work, their teaching style. Number three, be prepared. Have the tools that you may need for class. I don't know, you may be taking a burlesque class and you may need some heels. If you don't know, there is nothing wrong with calling the dance studio and asking, hey, I'm taking the Lannis' class. Do I need heels? I'm taking a tap class. Well, if you're taking a tap class, you should have tap shoes, all right? I don't know, do I need a boa? You should be prepared. If you are taking a hip hop class, you may need some comfortable sneakers. I don't know, some dance boots. Something that's going to make you feel the part and put you in that space. So have the tools that you need for class. I always say have your dance bag with the clothing that you may need, the shoes, an extra pair of shoes, and ladies. You should never ever leave your home without having at least a pair of, if you're driving, at least a pair of heels in your trunk, okay? My heels live in my trunk. So if I can have some heels in my trunk, you can too. So don't come to a burlesque class or a heels class without heels. Your tools, very important. Number four, what are your expectations from this class? Are you going just to have fun? Are you going just to get a workout? Are you going to actually learn? Do you want to be a professional dancer? Know exactly what your expectations are. As teachers, we always have expectations. And my expectation would be for you to come and learn something, to have a great time, to walk away from my class better and stronger and more knowledgeable than before in this style. And number five, classroom etiquette. <laughs> I cannot stress this enough. Classroom etiquette. What does that mean? Classroom etiquette is about coming to class, knowing where to stand. Where am I going to better learn? Am I going to learn better on the right side of the teacher? Is it the left side of the teacher? Making sure that you know your spacing, okay? When you come into class, if you come in late, don't just set up right in front of someone. Share the space stagger yourselves because you usually dance in front of mirrors so you want to see yourself in the mirror so that you can see your form see what's going on with your body so when you come into class make sure you know your spacing uh, don't just jump in front of someone and if there is some room in front of someone ask them hey can I share this space with you so that you come in and you have respect for your fellow dancers so classroom etiquette is key um, what really goes with that is asking questions. Now, 
knowing when is appropriate to ask a question. I tend to ask a lot of questions in class, but I know when to ask the question. So if the teacher is in the middle of a dance phrase, you don't want to ask a question. Wait until the teacher has a moment. Wait until that teacher has a moment of resolve and say, hey, I have a question about that step. Okay, so don't interrupt the teacher. Have questions, that's wonderful. Have questions, but don't interrupt the teacher when they are in the middle of a teaching phrase. What else can we say about classroom etiquette? There's so much. <laughs> and, um, and things that I like to see in my classes. Oh, biggest one. Do not walk out of someone's class unless you ask a question. Now, if you are a beginner and you are stepping into someone's class and you are new, Yes, things are going to be challenging. Expect for it to be challenging. That's what you are here for, to learn. So if something may be just a little beyond your, your experience and it's a beginning class and you're there for the first time, ask a question. Say, hey, you know, before you decide to walk out of someone's room, because I think that there's nothing more rude than to walk out of someone's room when you know unless you're unless you're injured okay that that's a different thing unless you are injured let the teacher know hey hey i injured myself you know and and bow out otherwise don't walk out of someone's class when you haven't asked a question because a lot of times we get defeated and it's tough to stay engaged when you are out of your comfort zone so be comfortable enough to ask a question okay now i am sure that there are so many more things that you should know before stepping into a dance class. And these are just my top picks. These are my top five. I'm sure that there are other teachers that have things high on their priority list other than you know these things that I'm sharing with you guys. But these are the things that I love to see when you walk into my class. So let's go over this one more time. Know the style. Know the style that you're taking. Know the level. And know a little about the teacher tools that you're going to need for the class be prepared like a boy scout be prepared yes i was a boy scout <laughs> and have expectation for the class because as a teacher we will always have expectations for you okay um what else what else what else classroom etiquette and again i feel like if you have classroom etiquette that takes care of everything on that list have respect for people who are dancing around you and dancing with you. So these are my top things. I hope to see you guys in a dance class somewhere. Dance is fun, do it. Come to burlesque, put on some heels, put on some sneakers, take hip hop, go to take a tap class. This, yes, we still do tap these days. <laughs> so enjoy. I would love to know what you feel like are the most important things that you should know before stepping into a dance class. Leave that in the comment section below. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to my channel and press that bell notification so that you get notifications for any videos that I may upload. I love you guys. Mwah. See you next time.